basically had no plans to like I had been sitting on this idea to make another like talking video like concept video with like a point to it in the voiceover and initially I wasn't going to but I watched this video today that kind of like really inspired me to like go forward but uh, I don't know if it's a good idea <laughs> so I'm um, basically I didn't want to go forward with it because it was about social media and I didn't want it to be like I don't know, I compare it to like bashing something that you're like a part of or like something that you're not even a part of yet, like talking shit before you even get there. It's not really a good way to go, but it's part of my everyday, like, I guess existence, you know, so I feel like I can talk about it. Um, I was watching videos by Progress and it, even though they were about like more music, and like music industry, music artists related topics, I felt like it applied to my visual art stuff too. And also like another video. I was watching just like a bunch of music videos. I think I was also watching like a Black East Beast video. Um, with being an artist, when I'm, like no matter what like medium or like genre or whatever it is, like nowadays like having a presence on social media is important and it's like a part of marketing and business and it's something that you have to be good at which is sort of something that I referenced in one of my previous mental health series videos about like how as an artist you wear all the hats sometimes and you're sort of your own boss if you don't have like assistance and you have to get to a point where you can earn assistance or like like pass off certain duties to other people you know basically like afford employees or whatever and it can take a long time to like achieve a place where you have you know what i'm looking for a word i'm looking for a word Ugh. i cannot think of it wow um but needs to say with me social media has hurt me i feel like more than it's helped me not so much mental health wise, but just like my relationship with people. And I feel like it might be an aspect of like autism, which I keep bringing up a lot, which is annoying even to me. But like, it's really hard to read people that you don't know on the internet and like interpret their meanings a lot of times. So it's like someone could just be showing interest in your art for a follow back, which I hate. Um, somebody could be showing interest in your art because they're like trying to copy it, which is a thing that I happened, which is sort of like a video concept that I scrapped because art theft is like a gross topic and a lot of people don't care to hear about it. Like there's a, I don't know, there's like a lot of conflicting views within like art world. Like, oh, you shouldn't talk about art theft or that's just part of the territory and you should just be quiet and take it as a compliment. But with me, like, the particular artist that copied me, it's, like, actually a lot, like, I don't know the copying word, but, like, they liked a specific picture of a painting. This was, like, back in 2017, back when I, like, hashtagged the hell out of everything because I really wanted my art to be seen. But now I'm to a point where I'm just, like, I really want to just make art for me again, which is so, like, unprofessional and unbusiness because it's, like, ugh. You need to make a living. You need your art to be seen. But at the same time, like, I feel like I'm compromising too much of myself when I try, you know? Like, I didn't want to do this, these videos. Like, I didn't want to do time-lapse paintings because I'm like, that's not me. Like, I'm not trying to be a YouTuber. I don't think of myself as a YouTuber. I think of myself as, like, an artist. But even then, I don't like to think of myself as an artist. It's just like, this is just who I am, and this is what I do, and I'm sharing it. And if you like it, you can watch it, too. Um, but I know that, like more can be taken away from it than that and people can't make it more than that so I'm uncomfortable with that and I like I don't know like it's like I try I'm trying not to invest like too deeply into like YouTube because I don't I don't know like I mean out of the platforms that I guess I'm on I do like the freedom that I have more on YouTube I'm kind of all over the place but um the point within the video 
by progress, which I might link, I might not, I don't know. And sort of like the Blackie Speaks video that I also have watched. It was like, artists are people, and they can like, what the fuck? Where, where was I going? Progress in his video kind of made like a thing that inspired me or like related to me because I was like, I feel like the following doesn't make my art. Like, I know that I'm a nobody, and I know that, like, that's not going to get me respected. You know, like, I just like to make things. I just like, like, that's just what it is. It's not, it's not, I'm not a clouty sort of person, you know? Like, I'm not trying to glorify anything. I just want to be myself. And I feel like that's not good enough for social media or, like, to gain a following. You know, because I'm like, am, am I personable? Am I a likable character? Then I'm like, I'm a real person and this is my life. So then it's like, whatever. What the fuck does anything mean, you know? But Progress said, um, like, art over algorithm. But he was talking more about industry plans and how, like, other people are supported and other people have different opportunities and stuff. And I think that that's applicable in any environment, you know? Whereas, like, other people have opportunities, other people have connections and stuff that I don't have. And, like, honestly, I, the opportunities that I've gotten have been really sucky, which is another reason why I didn't want to make this. Because, like, the main archer that I was in where I did make a sale, I had to pay to be a part of it. And it was something that my mom wanted me to do. And I don't really feel that good about it, and I don't like talking about it. But, um, I don't know, like, I still get, like, little blips of like interest from people every now and then but it's like I don't know it's uncomfortable because like I've had people say things and like do things and it's like I'm not the type of person to really get my hopes up for anything so when things don't fall through or like people never reach out again then I'm like oh it wasn't real you know so it's good that I didn't get my hopes up and it's just created like a strange mentality within me and like made creating really gross for me which is sort of why I kind of pulled back from Instagram for a while and I like didn't post for a good while and I was like oh I'm just gonna focus on like doing psychology you know I thought that was good for me and I was gonna better myself but it's brought me back here because I'm like I fucking hate school and I don't want to do that anymore like I just want to do art because that's what I like and that's who I am that's who I've always been but I just feel like it's hard like I've seen other people you know like I don't know that it's that's why I thought the parallel with, like, the point Progress was making, though he was talking about, like, industry plant type of people, was, like, I do think that, like, some people's growth does seem, like, unnatural, you know? Like, they're, I'm like, what is it? What are they doing? It's weird, you know? There is, like, a parallel where it's, like, there's just something, like, not organic, you know? I don't know. I get, like, a weird feeling from certain creators at times. It's, like, I don't know. I know that this is, like it's true to me and authentically translates to who I am as a person and I feel like I always am trying to like edit myself so that I'm like I'm trying to like what it's like all these words are not coming to mind wow um it's just like I'm just constantly having to like filter myself you know so that I can be socially acceptable like is my art too dark should I make happy art so the people connect to it more but it's like that's not me and that's not who I am you know like I want to have like an authentic following if I really build one you know like I want people to actually know me and what I'm like and what like I guess sort of makes me happy as a person or, or whatever anyway um if you want to you can subscribe and you can like but uh no pressure Thanks for watching if you watched it to the end.